Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jesse Mayfield Chi, and I am coming to you live from Schlunt's Gym on the campus of Brookline High School in Brookline, Massachusetts. Here to bring you live coverage of today's high school varsity boys volleyball contest between the visiting Red Raiders of Fitchburg High School and the hosting Brookline High Warriors. Now, of course, this game was originally supposed to be played out in Fitchburg, but Fitchburg had a little trouble with uh, the rain we've been having the past couple of days. Uh, apparently, the roof kind of leaked, and so they were getting a lot of water in their gym. You know, not, not the first time I've seen uh, a school struggle with that issue. Uh, for those of you who follow me across, uh, follow my broadcast across several different sports, you might recall that not this past winter, but the 22 to 23 winter season, uh, the Brookline High girls basketball team had a game get postponed uh, that was supposed to be played at the gym at Wellesley High School for the same reason, because of a, you know, a leaky gym roof. So not completely unheard of, although it is a bit unusual, but uh, you know, a, tough, a tough break for Fitchburg to be sure, having to make the long trek out here to the eastern side of the state. And so to any uh, Fitchburg fans tuning in who are hoping to be able to, you know, make the, make the short drive across town to, uh, to Fitchburg High and watch this game, I hope you're able to enjoy watching the game here just as much. And in fact, we've already got our first, uh, our first note in the live chat from a Fitchburg fan from Nix D, a simple let's go Fitchburg. And on that note, I would like to say I love anyone wanting to participate in the live chat or if anyone wants to send me uh, an email if they're not comfortable with the YouTube live chat system. You know, it could be as simple as uh, what Nick has put here, a very simple, uh, you know, let's go Fitchburg or let's go Brookline, whichever team you're rooting for. We appreciate fans showing support for their team in the live chat. You know, maybe you want to give a specific shout out to a specific player. Maybe you're uh, tuning into this live stream to support a family member or a friend. You want to give them a shout out or maybe someone makes a nice play during the game and you want to give them a shout out for that. I encourage that as well. Um, and if you want to let us know where it is you're tuning in from, like I said, I'm sure we'll have a number of people tuning in uh, from Fitchburg. But I also know that, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, fans who are extended family or fans who are traveling uh, might be tuning in from different states or even different countries. And we love hearing about that um, in the live chat about all the different places that these streams are able to reach. Uh, then on a more serious side, uh, if... Uh, you notice any technical difficulties with the live stream, if the video starts cutting out, if the audio starts cutting out, I encourage you to speak up and say something, again, either in the live chat or in an email. Um, you know, you never know. It may be something I don't notice on my end, and it might be something that I'm able to fix uh, once, once I realize there's a problem. So if you notice something, speak up and say something. And then, of course, uh, if I am uh, butchering the pronunciation of any uh, player's names, first or last name, uh, I encourage you to correct me in the live chat. Uh, you know, this especially applies to the Fitchburg players as this is my first time covering them. You know, I'm going to do the best I can guessing the pronunciation of names. Uh, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not always going to get it right on my first try. And I want to be corrected if I'm getting this wrong. Uh, you know, because I want to give these young men the best coverage I possibly can. And to me, a part of that does mean getting their names right. So if you notice me uh, messing up someone's name, don't just sit and stew in silence. Uh, let me know I'm messing it up. As you can see from the scoreboard cam in the bottom left corner of your screen, we got just about two and a half minutes left before we get this one underway. Brookline coming into this one with a three and two record. <coughs> You know, they've uh, suffered a couple of losses to some uh, high-ranked opponents, uh, lost their season opener to Milford, uh, recently lost a match, uh, I believe, at home against Natick, two of the highest-ranked teams uh, in the state uh, in the preseason rankings from the Boston Globe. 
Um, so Brookline coming into this with a 3-2 and two record, but still a strong pedigree coming in. Fitchburg coming into this, I believe, with a 4-0 and o record. I think there was one game on uh, their Arbiter site that hadn't been marked. So that, you know, they might be 5-0, and o, they might be 4-1. and one. Um, Or that game might have been postponed or something. I don't know. But either way... Two strong teams coming into this one. I expect a show. I hope you expect a show here at Schlunt's Gym in Brookline. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan, and you are watching Brookline High Volleyball. Fire the serve taken by Tomer, set by Smagula, long spike by Christopher. Connor Christopher. Serve off the fingertips again. It's another ace for Gutierrez. Serve taken by Tomer, set by Smagula, spike Raybold, drops in. Pushed over by Huang, taken by Chilek, sent over on two by Smagula. Alex Smagula ends it. Taken by Vivars, set by Smagula. Vivars ends it! Brookline takes the fifth set and the final set and the upset. All right, you can see two teams getting ready to get this one started. Fitchburg is on our left to start. In the gray jerseys with red jersey numbers. Brookline on the right in their white jerseys with red jersey numbers. As we get ready for the pregame handshake. All right. Two teams bringing out their starting lineups for Brookline. I see number zero, Rowan Miller. Number one, Chris Stapps Vivars. Number 99, uh, Kais Alpha Khoury. Number 98, Liam Raybold. Number 21, Amir Tomer. And number 19, Alex Magula. And of course, the Libero, number three, Eli Traub, getting ready to check in for Fitchburg. I see their Libero, number nine, Q Young. Uh, I see number three, Joshua Santos. Number 11, Ezekiel Reynoso. I see number two, Broly Vu. And a couple others that I can't quite see from this angle because they're turned aside. I think I see number four, Brady Truong. Well, we're about to get this one started. Brookline will have the first serve of the first set in this best of five match. And Alex Magula will deliver our opening serve. There's the opening whistle, and here we go. Smagula's serve is received by Young, followed up and bumped over, taken by Vivar, set by Smugula. Quick spike from Raybold is deflected and taken. Sent over, it's taken by Vivar's again, set by Smugula. Spike Amir Tomer is going to sail wide. Good defense by the Red Raiders on that one. We saw some good recoveries from players like number seven, Bruno Lana. Now it's going to be Reynoso with the serve. It's taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Tomer, the spike, gets through the blockers this time. And we have our first kill of this match.
He had a one-on-one -on -one matchup and trusted he would be able to get through the lone blocker, and he did for the match's first kill. Now following up his kill, Tomer will be going on serve for Brookline. Serve off the side of the hands. Oops. Messed that one up. Sorry about that. But that is the first ace of the match for Amir Tomer. Serve, taken this time by Vu, set by Reynoso. Tap over is going to go for a kill from number three, Joshua Santos. Not the most powerful hit, but perfectly placed in no man's land in between the defenders by the Fitchburg junior captain for the Red Raiders' first kill. Serve from Vu into the net, and it will go back to Brookline. Okay, so it's Q Yang, not not Yang. My fault. Serve is taken by Yang, set by Reynoso, tapped over, taken by Smagula, set by Traub, spiked by Miller, is dug out uh, by Vu, now tapped over by Lana, now set up for Vivars, his spike sails long. But I think someone touched the net. They were saying something to the degree of a double hit or uh, or a four hit or something. So not a kill, but somewhere in there, uh, just an error. Set it up, tapped over by Truong, taken by Smagula, set by Traub. Miller taps it over, taken by Vu, set by Truong. Tap over by Santos, taken by Vyavars, set by Smagula. Spike by Alpha Curry, blocked by Santos. Joshua Santos off to a strong start for Fitchburg with a kill and a block and his team now up four to three. Ah. Serve is off the ceiling and that is going to be an ace now for Santos. You know, anyone who's watched matches here at Schluntz knows that uh, Oh, I, did they just call a foot fault on that on that serve there? Some kind of violation on the serve on Santos, and now the serve goes to Brookline. Miller with the serve. It's taken by Santos, set by Reynoso. Lana, roll shot, taken by Tomer. Set by Smagula. By Vars, sends it down the line. Dug out by Reynoso, sent over on two. Spiked right back by Alpha Curry. Or no, by Raybolt. I got their numbers mixed up. Boy, I'm off to a good start today. You can see a great defensive play by Reynoso to keep it alive, but number 99, Liam Raybolt, was right there as Miller's Shot goes into the net, and so the serve goes back to Fitchburg. But that was the first kill of the day for number 99, Liam Raybold. Bruno Lana on serve, and that one goes into the net. Steps five R's now going on serve for Brookline as a couple of subs check in. Appears to be number seven, Zachary Boyer. <clears throat> the serve is taken by Lana, bumped up by Reynoso, and bumped over by Santos. Taken by Boyer, spike on two by Smagula. Just gets through the blockers for his first kill. You can see the blocker seemed to have him well matched up, but just slightly off on the angle. 
And just slightly off on the angle of that service receive as Vivars gets the ace. This serve is dug out by Lana, chased down by Reynoso and sent over on two. Taken by Smagula, set by Boyer. Spike Smagula for another kill. Alex Smagula is such an unconventional setter because he does have the spiking power to work as a hitter when necessary. This serve, just long. But a streak of four unanswered points for Brookline gives them a slight edge here. Truong now on serve, taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Running spike by Vars off the net court, but taken by Lana. Followed up awkwardly, but the ceiling's going to interfere, but they do. Oh, it's a double hit. Santos was ruled to have gotten that second hit, and so when he got the third hit off the ceiling, that was a violation. Couple subs in for Brookline. Number 98, Kais Alfakuri, and number 15, Andrew Bacon, and it will be Bacon on serve. Serve taken by Lana, set by Reynoso, and cut just off on the pass there, and Vu could not send it over. Twelve to six, the Brookline lead here in the first set. Bacon serve taken by Lana, bumped up by Reynoso. Now Vu the spike, and he missed it wide. Had a good setup there and almost had a nice shot down the line, but just a little too far to the left. Bacon serve taken by Truong, followed up by Reynoso, and it is bumped over by number one, Omar Rodriguez, but too far. And another point to Brookline, 14 to six, now the lead for the Warriors. This serve taken by Santos, set by Reynoso. Spike Rodriguez deflected and indecisive on receiving it. And Omar Rodriguez has his first kill of the day. Caillou Yang now on serve for Fitchburg. Serve is taken by Tomer, tapped over on two by Smagula, but taken by Vu, set by Reynoso, Spike Vu. And the blockers couldn't get it back. That's a kill for Broly Vu. Yang serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula. A roll shot by Tomer, drops in perfectly. The top spin shot by Amir Tomer. Rainbows over the blockers and drops on the back line for the kill, his second of the day. Serves Magula, dug out by Yang, set by Reynoso. Roll shot by Santos, drops in. Once again, Santos showing a bit of a knack for dropping that ball into no man's land. As he gets his second kill. Reynoso the serve, taken by Traub, set by Smagula, barely pushed over by Alpha Curry. Taken by Yang, set by Reynoso. Vu, tap blocked, but Vu recovers it. Reynoso follows it up and blocked again. Taken again by Reynoso, followed up by Truong, pushed over by Lana. Taken by Traub, set by Smagula, spike Alpha Curry. Taken by Truong, set by Reynoso. Vu the spike, and this time gets through the blockers for the kill. Credit to Broly Vu on that one. After getting blocked twice in the same rally, he still went right back to the hard spike and managed to get it through the blocker's hands that time for his second kill. Reynoso serve into the net, and it will go back to Brookline. Two 
Tomer the serve, taken by Vu, set by Reynoso, and Lana had no room again, just off on the pass there. Tomer's serve taken by Yang, set by Reynoso. Spike blocked by Alpha Curry, but sent over by Lana. Taken by Vivars, set by Smagula. Vivars taps it over. Diving dig by Reynoso, followed up by Vu. Spike by Lana, taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Running spike, Tomer sails long. Boy, again, great defensive fortitude by the Red Raiders, especially... Ezekiel Reynoso, I know he's had a, a couple passes that he would like to have back, but give him credit on his defensive efforts. He's had a couple of nice diving digs early in this one. As a timeout is called with Brookline leading 17 to 11, a quick look at my unofficial uh, count of stats. Now, keep in mind, I'm only able to keep track of kills, aces, and blocks, um, you know, while doing all of this, managing the stream and doing play-by-play. -play. But what I have so far for Brookline, Amir Tomer with two kills and one ace, Alex Magula with two kills, Liam Raybold with one kill, and Chris Depps Vivars with one ace. For Fitchburg, I have Joshua Santos with two kills, one ace, and one block, Broly Vu with two kills, and Omar Rodriguez with one kill. Out of the timeout, Vu on serve for Fitchburg. Taken by Traub, bumped up by Smagula. Spike Vivars could not be dug out. Almost looked like they were trying to call something. Uh, maybe they called it someone touched the net. I'm not sure. I'll give the kill to Vivars for now. I'm not sure if they called a violation before. You know, like I said, my stat counts are unofficial. Serve taken by Yang, followed up by Reynoso, pushed over by Vu. Taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Spike Miller, deflected, taken by Reynoso, set by Vu. Truong, roll shot, deflected, and dug out by Vivars. Followed up by Smagula, roll shot, Tomer. Dug out by Vu, followed up by Santos, pushed over by Lana. Taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Spike Raybold. Oh, it's a... They called an illegal hit on Brookline. The point goes to Fitchburg. They're saying that one of the Brookline hits uh, got illegally underneath it. Maybe they were saying that Raybold palmed the ball a little too much when he went for that hit. And I think I think that is what they called, is that he like pushed it instead of hitting it properly. Sir Vu goes long. So 19 to 12, Brookline leads here in the first set. Rowan Miller going on serve. Taken by Yang, followed up by Truong, bumped over by Lana. Taken by Raybold, set by Smagula. Vivars, the spike drops down for the kill. You can see Vu went low to try and dig this one out, but might have had a little bit of spin on that one, and so it dropped a little bit shallower than he expected. Second kill of the day for Chris Depp's Vivars. Miller's serve taken by Truong, set by Reynoso. Truong, the spike blocked. Liam Raybold with Brookline's first block of the day. Just my best guess that Raybold had it, you know, Raybold and Smagula both went up for it. Hard to tell from up in the stands who exactly got their hands on it. As Raybold, no doubt about that one, as he smashes that one right back for his second kill. Serve receive just didn't go where they wanted it to. Went over on one, and Raybold made him pay for it. 22-12, to 12, now the Brookline lead. 
Miller serve off the fingertips of Yang, but chased down by Vu, bumped over by Reynoso. Taken by Traub, set by Hiltz. Spike for um, Raybold for another kill. Third kill of the match for Liam Raybold. The assist coming from Odin Hiltz, who has checked in for Brookline. Miller's serve taken by Yang, bumped up by Reynoso, and off the ceiling. And so that error is going to give Brookline set point 24 to 12. Miller serving for the set. And his serve goes right into the net. He's usually more of a consistent controlled server, and that time he was trying to bring more of a power serve, and it just it just backfired on him. Subbing back in for Brookline number seven, Zachary Boyer. Santos now on serve, still set point for Brookline. Serve taken by Connor Christopher, set by Vivars, punched over by Boyer, taken by Vu, set by Reynoso, Spike Lana into the net, and Brookline will take the first set. Final score of the first set, Brookline 25, Fitchburg 13. Brookline takes a 1-0 set lead in this best of five match. First to three sets will win the match. During this first set intermission, I'd like to take to uh, direct your attention uh, to a helpful link in the description section of this video for anyone who would like to help support the Brookline High Boys volleyball program. Uh, there's, uh, there's a link, uh, a tiny URL style link um, where you can go that will bring you to uh, kind of a form page where you can donate to a number of different things at Brookline High. But uh, there's a drop-down menu where you can select boys volleyball as, you know, what are you donating to? Um, and then once you finish filling out the form, put in how much money you want to send, you know, just a few easy steps, and you can send money to help support the Brookline High boys volleyball program. Once again, that link is in the description section down below. And happy to see uh, a number of uh, fans contributing in the live chat here. Uh, Yuli Burstein, uh, thought this was an away game, oops. Yeah, we all, we all kind of thought that, that this was a change that happened today, uh, that they were playing at home because of the, the leaky roof at the Fitchburg gym, bit of a last minute change. Uh, Ruben Padilla helping me out with some uh, information. Uh, the record for Fitchburg is four and one as they lost to North Middlesex. Uh, Malia in the live chat helping me out with the pronunciation of Caillou Yang's name. Thank you very much uh, for the help with that, Malia. Uh, Ruben Padilla showing uh, some support for the Fitchburg players, uh, shouting out uh, Josh Santos, so did Sumi Yang. Uh, Shouting out uh, Josh Santos. He had some nice points early in that first set. And then we got some support from a Brookline player and a, a familiar name, a name I was uh, calling just yesterday when covering Brookline High Baseball. That's Felix Hom in the live chat saying, let's go, Amir. Referring, of course, to Brookline's Amir Tomer, who had two kills and one ace in that first set. As you can see on the scoreboard cam in the bottom left corner of your screen, uh, Brookline now has a one under, well, under fouls, since that's normally a basketball scoreboard. But that fouls count is, for the purposes of this volleyball match, a set count. So Brookline with one set to none uh, as their lead. Once again, first to three sets wins the match. Brookline coming out with a rotation featuring number 43, Odin Hiltz, number 98, Kais Alfakuri, number 4, Connor Christopher, number 1, Chris Daps Vivars, number 19, Alex Smagula, and number 99, Liam Raybold. One of those six will check out for the Libero, number 3, Eli Traub. And for 
Fitchburg. They have their same rotation. Bruno Lana, number seven. Number nine, Caillou Yang. Number 11, Ezekiel Reynoso. Number three, Joshua Santos. Number two, Broly Vu. And number four, Brady Truong. And so Raybold checks out for Traub. And this time Fitchburg with the first serve. Lana's first serve comes in. Taken by Vivars, set by Smagula. Spike Christopher cross court for the kill. Connor Christopher with a nice angle there going cross court for that one. And now Christopher the serve, it's taken by Yang, set by Lana, Spike Truong, taken by Christopher, bumped up by Smagula, Odin Hiltz the roll shot, taken by Reynoso, set by Lana, and an illegal double hit on the attempted set by Lana. And so that'll be another point to Brookline. Christopher's serve taken awkwardly by Reynoso, but followed up by Lana. Pushed over by Truong, taken by Smagula, set by Traub. Vivars the spike, blocked back, but Vivars recovers. Followed up by Traub, pushed over by Smagula, taken by Truong, set by Lana. Vu the spike, deflected but not fully blocked. Broly Vu gets his third kill of the match so far and now goes on serve. Serve taken by Vivars, set by Smagula. Vivars the spike through the blockers, but recovered by Yang, followed up by Vu. Punched over by Reynoso, taken by Alpha Kuri, followed up by Smagula. Roll shot Vivars, taken by Vu. Set by Lana, Truong punches it over. Taken by Christopher, set by Smagula. Hilts the spike. Taken first by Vu, then a diving Lana follows it up. Pushed over by Vu, taken by Traub, set by Smagula, and Alpha Kuri missed it. An impressive rally again. Fitchburg's uh, fortitude on defense has been quite impressive so far. Serve from Vu, taken by Vivar, set by Smagula. Spike Alpha Kuri, this time he doesn't miss. Kais Alpha Kuri, the freshman, with his first kill. Always so tough to defend those quick hit hits out of the middle. Not only is it a limited time to get into position, but also when you've got a tall guy like uh, Alpha Curry or Raybold, you know, that, that angle is coming all but straight down. So hard to dig out. That serve from Traub went into the net, so we are tied at three apiece. Joshua Santos on serve as Omar Rodriguez checks in for the Raiders. Serve taken by Vivar, set by Smagula. Hilts the spike, sails long, no deflection. Santos back on serve with his team in the lead. Taken by Vivar, a little awkward, but chased down by Smagula and bumped over by Traub. Taken by Vu, set by Lana Truong. The spike blocked back, but kept alive by the Red Raiders. Pushed over by Reynoso, taken by Traub, set by Smagula. By Vars, the spike ricochets like a pinball, and they're still keeping it alive. It's pushed over by Santos, taken awkwardly by Brookline, but set up for another spike, deflected, taken by Reynoso, set by Lana, and Rodriguez just couldn't bump it over. Boy, we've had a couple of really nice rallies in this set that unfortunately just kind of ended with players just whiffing on their third hit. You know, kind of a bummer for a rally to end that way, but don't let that diminish how great those rallies were. Serve from Hiltz, taken awkwardly and could not be followed up. And Brookline takes the 5-4 lead. Hiltz is served, this time taken by Santos. Sent over on two, spiked right back by Rabel, but recovered by Truong, set by Lana, bumped over by Truong. Taken by Traub, set by Hiltz, and tapped over left-handed by Vivars, and he manages to avoid the pull for the left-handed kill. That pass was 
not where Vivars originally wanted it to be, and he still managed to adjust just barely as Hiltz gets the ace on that one. That one just dropped on the back line. Always so tough making the judgment call on a serve like that. This serve, not hard to make the judgment call on that. That one was plenty long and out. Seven to five, the Brookline lead. Brady Truong now on serve. Taken by Vivars, set by Hilt, Spike Raybold. Liam Raybold with his fourth kill so far. Again, so tough to cover when a big guy out of the middle goes for that quick spike. Survivors is taken by Santos, but off the ceiling. And that'll be sort of a ceiling-aided ace for Vivars. As you can see, it just kind of went off the cross beams, and so it came down faster than anyone was ready for. This serve off the net cord, but dug out by Santos, followed up by Reynoso. Spike Lana for the kill. Bruno Lana with his first kill of the day, and how about Joshua Santos laying out to dig out that serve off the net cord. Reynoso, the serve taken by Traub, set by Hiltz. Smagula, the lefty spike for the kill. And you could tell Reynoso was expecting that spike to 100% go down the line. That's what I expected with a lefty, but Smagula put the spin on that one to collect his third kill. Raybold, the serve, dug out by Truong, followed up by Lana. Spike Vu down the line for the kill. Broly Vu with his fourth kill of the day. Ten to seven, the Brookline lead. Caillou Yang now on serve for the Red Raiders. Off the fingertips of Vivars, but chased down by Traub, but off the ceiling. Again, the, ce the ceiling giveth and the ceiling taketh away here at Schlund's Gym. And boy, if that isn't just the story of a lot of volleyball matches where the design of the ceiling really takes on a life of its own. Set by Hilt, Spike Smagula deflected, and again, the spin just threw off Reynoso completely, as I think that one went off either his face or his chest off, uh, off of that one. And that is kill number four for Alex Smagula, who now goes on serve, taken by Yang, sent over on one, taken by Christopher, set by Smagula, quick spike, dug out by Yang, spiked back on two by Lana. And did they say that Brookline reached over? They, sa they said Brookline committed some kind of a violation, so that point will go to Fitchburg. Lana's serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Spike Hiltz blocked, but blocked wide. First kill of the day for Odin Hiltz as the block attempt from Fitchburg just spun out of control. Serve from Christopher taken by Yang, set by Lana Vu, roll shot. The top spin from Broly Vu for his fifth kill as he turned that into a high arcing drop shot to fake out the blockers. Serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula, Spike Vivars sails long. Twelve to eleven. Serve taken by Traub, chased down barely by Smagula, roll shot by Vars taken by Lana, followed up by Vu. Pushed over by Reynoso, dug out by Traub, set by Smagula, hilts the spike, sails long. 
Just like that, all tied up at 12. Serve taken by Traub over on one, tapped back by Reynoso, taken by Traub, set by Smagula, spike off Akuri. Kais Alfakuri with his second kill as he angled that one well. Sending it to his left. Serve taken by Yang, followed up by Vu. That's going to be off the ceiling, and they're not going to be able to follow that one up with a third hit. You know, Again, when you see the ball sailing towards the middle on a high arcing second hit, or even a high arcing first hit, you're like, oh, that's going to throw him off. Serve taken by Reynoso, set, tap, blocked, tapped back by Truong, taken by Traub, set by Smagula, 5Rs, the spike gets through. Oh, everybody. That one looked like it might have hurt a little bit. 5Rs with his fourth kill. Serve taken by Yang, set by Lana, I believe. Spike was deflected, taken by Trub. Sets Magula, roll, shot five Rs. Top spin down the line for the kill. Make it five kills so far today for Chris Stepp's five Rs. Serve taken by Vu, set Lana. Running Spike Vu sails long. You know, one of the things you watch volleyball enough, you really get an appreciation for all the different ways that hitters can attack you. You know, a running spike out of the middle, a quick jump uh, from a middle blocker, a roll shot down the line, a drop shot tap. That block deflected, taken by Vivars, set by Smagula. Spike Vivars manages to get it to no man's land. Even one like that, you know, it didn't seem like Vivars had much of an angle. And yet, again, he put a little bit of topspin on it to drop it into no man's land, get make the defenders a little desperate and reach a bit and get an unfavorable deflection. Serve Traub off the face of Yang, but followed up by Vu, and Reynoso sails it. Brookline with seven unanswered points. That they now lead 19 to 12. Serve Traub, taken by Yang, set by Lana. Spike Truong blocked, Truong recovers. Chased down by Lana, tap over by Reynoso. Taken by Smagula, set by Traub. Hilts the spike, blocked. The block by Reynoso. So that breaks the scoring streak, but Fitchburg still trailing by six. Santos the serve, taken by Vivars, punched back by Truong. Brady Truong with his first kill as that serve receive just went a little too far. Serve taken by Vivars, set by Smagula, another spike for another kill for Liam Raybold. Liam Raybould now with five kills of his own. And it's a 20 to 14 lead for Brookline here in the second set. Serve from Hiltz, taken by Vu, kicked into the air by Lana. That is a legal hit. It's pushed over by Truong, taken by Traub, set by Hiltz, tap over by Vivars, and kicked again by Lana. I'm not sure what they what they called. They, they they were saying it's a point to Fitchburg. Okay, so it was a point to Brookline because Lana's hit went off the ceiling when it went over the net. The ball can touch the ceiling, but not if it goes over. Truong's spike taken by Smagula, followed up by Trob. Spike by Vars is blocked. I think that was Brady Truong who got that block. He was jumping up with Rodriguez for that one. 21 to 15. 
Serve taken by Traub, set by Hiltz. Spike by Vars, could not be blocked, but it is kept alive. And they just barely couldn't get it over. Herculean efforts by Lana and Reynoso and Rodriguez to try and get that one over after the block didn't go back over the net. So not a full kill for Vivars, but Brookline does still get the point. 22 to 15 the lead. And Vivars serve off the hands of Truong for the ace. That's a service receive he'd like to have back. He was probably about to pull away and let that one fly out, but instead it goes off his hands. This serve, another ace. As Truong tried to dive after that one, but no dice. That one might have dropped in on the sideline off the curve. Four aces now for Vivars, and he's now serving for the set. Off the net cord, taken by Santos, followed up by Truong. Spike Lana deflected, taken by Vivar, set by Hiltz. Christopher the spike deflected, kept alive, followed up by Vu, bumped over by Lana. No, not bumped over by Lana. It hits the net, and Brookline takes set number two. Twenty-five to fifteen, the final score of set number two as Brookline goes up two sets to none. One more set win, and Brookline will walk out of here with the match. Again, happy to see some uh, shout-outs in the live chat from Felix Hom shouting out not just Amir Tomer, but also Alex Magula and Liam Raybold. And from Ruben Padilla shouting out Bruno Lana, saying, that's my Brazilian. And uh, definitely uh, paying a very fitting tribute to Brazilian cu uh, culture with uh, two kicks on one rally. Uh, that is a that that is a legal play. For those of you who were here right at the beginning when I played uh, the intro video, you might have seen there was uh, a part of that intro video that showed one of the Brookline players kicking a ball to keeping it to keep it alive. You're allowed to hit the ball with any part of your body and it counts as a legal hit so long as you're not double hitting it. The only reason that point went against Fitchburg was that Lana sent it over the net and it hit the ceiling, and the ball cannot hit the ceiling on the same hit where it goes over the net. That's an illegal hit. During this uh, second set intermission, I'd like to take a moment to direct your attention to another uh, set of helpful links in the description section of the video. These links related to our local charity spotlight, Brookline Cares. Brookline Cares is a volunteer organization run by Brookline High School students, which seeks to raise awareness and funds to help people struggling with homelessness. Brookline Cares works closely with an organization called the Empowerment Plan. The Empowerment Plan hires and trains those dealing with homelessness to manufacture their special type of coat, known as the Empower Coat, which can double as a sleeping bag. The coats help to keep those struggling with homelessness warm during the colder months, while the jobs manufacturing those coats can help break the cycle of homelessness through gainful employment. Over the past three years, Brookline Cares has purchased and distributed over 200 Empower Coats and 1,000 pairs of Bombas socks to local community organizations and emergency departments that care for the homeless. And you can help them bring more warmth to those in need. In the description section of this video, you'll find two links. The first link is on the website classy.org, where you can donate money to the Brookline Cares team, supporting their efforts to purchase more Empower Coats. Or if you're a student interested in joining Brookline Cares, you can find another link in the description section, this one to the organization's website on wixsite.com, where you can find more information about the group and how you can contact them. Once again, check out those links in the description section below and help spread the warmth with Brookline Cares. So now we get ready for the third set of this match. Again, if Brookline takes this third set, they will win the match as it is first to three sets. But if Fitchburg manages to win this set, then we will go to a fourth set. And then if Fitchburg wins again, we'll go to a do or die fifth set. That one would be first to 15 win by two instead of the usual 
First to 25, win by two. And, you know, I'm sure for people who regularly watch high school volleyball, they're like, I don't, I know that. That's the basics. Why is, why is this guy saying that? Well, you never know. There might be some fans who are watching uh, high school volleyball for the first time. You know, maybe they're tuning in to watch, a, you know, a family member or a friend. They've never watched this sport before. Uh, and so they're not necessarily familiar with the rules. And I want them to be able to uh, enjoy this game and, you know, stay on top of the situation as much as anyone else. So Brookline subbing in a different Libero this time. This is number 17, Christoph Huang. So he'll take the court with Smagula, Christopher, Tomer, Hiltz, and Alpha Curry. While Fitchburg sends out their usual rotation, Vu, Santos, Lana, uh, Truong, Reynoso, and Yang. Alex Magula serving first here in the third set. Serve is taken by Truong, but off the ceiling. We start the day with a ceiling-aided ace for Alex Smagula. They serve off the net court, and it's another ace for Alex Smagula. You know, not much the defense could have done about that one. When it bounces off the net court, it, it you know, it can be so hard to track. Serve taken by Truong, set by Lana. Spike Vu blocked back, but Vu recovers, set by Lana. Another Spike Vu blocked again, but this time blocked wide. Broly Vu with his sixth kill of the match so far. Hiltz and Alpha Curry were going up for that one, but the block just flew too far. Serve, dug out by Huang, set by Smagula, tapped down by Alpha Curry. Kais Alpha Curry hung in the air for that one. So he could get the tap down and collect his third kill of the match so far. Serve Tomer, taken by Yang, set by Lana Spike Vu, through the blockers for another kill. Broly Vu showing why he is a co-captain, even though he is just a sophomore, as he collects his team-leading seventh kill of the match so far. Serve taken by Huang, set by Smagula, Spike Christopher for a kill. Good control on the pass by Smagula. And then another nice cross-court kill for Con uh, Connor Christopher. Smagula showing as well why he is also a sophomore captain for his team. Huang the serve taken by Yang, set by Lana. Spike Truong through the blockers. Brady Truong with his second kill of the day. Four to three. Brookline leads early in the third set. Santos, the serve, taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Spike Hiltz is blocked, but off the net court and could not be followed up. Again, when opponents try and block spikes from Hiltz, they take on all kinds of crazy spin. Serve. Taken by Santos, set by Lana, Spike Rodriguez, taken by Tomer, chased down barely by Hiltz. Christopher, the spike was blocked. Oh no, it wasn't blocked, it didn't go over. It held up four fingers saying four hits, which means the spike did not go over. Serve Truong, taken by Huang, set by Hiltz. Spike Smagula dug out by Santos, sent over on two by Rodriguez. Rodriguez with the spinning backhand swing. Almost looked like something out of a fighting game that time as he gets his second kill of the day. Five to five the score. 
Strong serve taken by Huang, followed up off the ceiling by Hiltz. Spike from Christopher is blocked back, I believe, by Omar Rodriguez as he gets two nice points back to back. Now Fitchburg with a six to five lead. Truong serve just wide. And we got a brief uh, moment here as they're gonna as they're gonna try and wipe up some wet spots here on the court. Don't worry, folks. The gym's not leaking here. But this gym uh, has been rather humid. It's, it's better than it was just before the match, but guys are still going to sweat when they're out here giving it their all. And when they're laying out for points, that's going to result in some sweat getting on the floor and making it a little slippery. As that serve sails long, brings it back to Fitchburg. Once again with a one-point lead, 7-6 to six now. Ezekiel Reynoso on serve for the Red Raiders. Serve taken by Christopher, followed up by Hiltz. Spikes Magula was blocked. Again, it's Omar Rodriguez. Wait, wait, did they give that point to Brookline? Oh, they, they must have touched the net. Serve is taken by Santos, set by Lana. Spike Vu blocked in. No, blocked wide. Yes, blocked wide. Uh, there's a bit of confusion over who was getting that point, but it does go to the Raiders as Broly Vu gets his eighth kill of the match. Now Yang on serve. His serve into the net. Now Smagula back on serve for the Warriors. All tied up at eight. Serve barely dug out by Truong, followed up by Lana. Roll shot by Vu. Taken by Huang, chased down by Smagula, bumped over by Christopher. Taken awkwardly by Yang, chased down by Truong to keep alive. Yang could not bump it over. Man, it's, it's always tough when it slides off the fingertips like that and starts going backwards, you know, because it's like it it's just makes it further and further to try and get back in a limit of only two more hits. Nine to eight, the Brookline lead. Smagul is served, dug out by Truong, set by Alana, Spike Santos, deflected, and Santos gets the kill. That's his third kill of the day, his first since the first set. Serve Lana, taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Tomer the spike, and Amir Tomer gets his first kill since the first set. That's his third today. as that one just took bad ricochet. This serve taken by Vu, set by Lana. Spike Vu blocked wide. Another block goes wide on a spike from Broly Vu as he collects his ninth kill of the match. He leads all hitters on both teams. Serve from Vu off the net court, drops in. And that's his first ace. Broly Vu puts Fitchburg back in the lead, 11 to 10 here in the third set. Serve taken by Huang, set by Smagula, Spike Hiltz, sails long. Another serve from Vu off Huang, followed up by Tomer. Spike Christopher dug out, followed up by Lana, pushed over by Reynoso, taken awkwardly by Smagula, followed up by Huang, bumped over by Alfa Kuri.
Taken by Yang, set by Lana Reynoso. Spike taken by Huang, off the light fixture. Ezekiel Reynoso gets his first kill as, that's the first time I've seen a ball go off of one of those light fixtures in the ceiling. And now if they're rocking back and forth, almost gives it a horror aesthetic as that serve from Vu sails out. Thirteen to eleven, Fitchburg leads here in the third set as Brookline goes on serve. Christoph Huang, his serve goes into the net. Wait, why is the score now twelve to eleven? That that point just went to Fitchburg. Was it? 12 to 11 before instead of 13 to 10, so now they got to make it 13 to 11. So, someone's got to update something. Okay, there it is. Okay, it's 14 to 11. Now that we've all been perfectly confused, let's get back to the action. Serve taken by Huang, set by Smagula, Spike Raybold. Liam Raybold with his sixth kill of the match so far. Now Hiltz on serve. Serve taken by Truong, set by Lana. Spike Truong gets through the blockers. Third kill of the day for Truong. Serve from Truong, taken awkwardly by Christopher, set by Hiltz, running spike, Christopher! The running start gives him the power he needs for his third kill of the day. And with that, score now 15 to 13. as Christopher becomes the one, two, three, four, five, becomes the sixth different Brookline player to have at least three kills today. That serve from Christopher sails just long. So a very well spread attack for Brookline, six hitters with at least three kills. Serve dug out, but sent back on one by Vu for his 10th kill of the day. Serve Reynoso, taken by Huang, set by Hiltz, punched over by Smagula, but too far. More hitting mistakes from Brookline, and they are running out of time to correct this as a timeout is going to be called as Brookline tries to recollect themselves. 18 to 13 is the lead for Fitchburg here in the third set. Remember folks, if you're enjoying this live stream, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. To stay up to date on all my upcoming sports live streams. You know, we are about to enter uh, spring break week. Next week, so, but there still will be some games on the docket as the Brookline High baseball team will play three games next week. And then, of course, there will be plenty more volleyball action after the break. Be sure to stay tuned for all of that. Subscribing to the channel can help. And, of course, keep those good vibes coming in the live chat. We've seen a lot of very invested fans from both sides chiming in today. Serve from Reynoso for an ace. Ezekiel Reynoso. Now with one kill, one ace, and one block. Serve taken by Huang, set by Hiltz. Spike 
Missed wide from Raybold. Boy, everyone is missing for Brookline here as they now trail 20 to 13. Serve taken by Huang, set by Hiltz. Roll shot Tomer, taken by Reynoso, followed up by Lana. Vu pushes it over, it's taken by Tomer, set by Hiltz. Magula, roll shot, taken by Lana, set by Vu. Lana the spike blocked. Liam Raybold with the block that time. Second block of the day for Liam Raybold. Now coming in on serve is number 15, Andrew Bacon. Serve taken by Truong, set by Lana. Vu, the spike, is taken by Christopher, followed up by Hiltz, and Smagula couldn't find the angle to punch it over. Got a little greedy and went for the spike when he probably should have just pushed it over. Now Bacon checks out, uh, as I believe it's Huang who checked back in. Serve from Yang, drops in shallow for an ace. Caillou Yang with his first ace of the day. And Fitchburg now leads 22 to 14. Serve taken by Christopher, set by Hiltz. Sent over by Tomer and deflects off the blockers for the kill. Fourth kill of the match for Amir Tomer. Serves Smagula, taken by Truong, set by Lana. Spike Vu off the net court, but taken by Smagula. Followed up by Huang, bumped over by Smagula off the ceiling. Taken by Truong, set by Lana. Tap over by Santos, dug out by Hiltz, set by Smagula, and sent over by Tomer. Dug out by Reynoso, followed up by Lana, pushed over by Santos, taken by Smagula, set up by Huang. Tap over by Hiltz. Odin Hiltz. Gets his third kill of the match. Now the seventh Brookline player to have at least three kills. And Brookline's not done fighting here in this set. Serve taken by Reynoso, set by Lana. Spike Vu blocked, recovered by Truong, set by Lana. Spike Santos off the net court, dug out by Smagula, followed up off the ceiling by Hiltz, pushed over by Christopher. Taken by Truong, set by Lana. Vu the spike. Dug out by Huang, chased down by Smagula off the ceiling, pushed over by Tomer, taken by Yang, kept alive by Lana, pushed over by Vu, taken by Smagula, everyone just desperately swinging. Off the ceiling, it's bumped over by Tomer, taken by Truong, set by Lana, pushed over by Vu, taken by Smagula, set by Huang, spike Tomer, deflected, kept alive, but they couldn't punch it over. What a wild rally that was. as both teams were just desperately swinging at everything, trying to keep the point alive. 22 to 17. Smagula serve an ace. The momentum just keeps carrying for Brookline. As I believe this is now five straight points for the Warriors. Serve taken by Yang. Set by Lana, Spike Vu blocked! Kais Alfakuri! And a timeout is called by Fitchburg. Brookline stringing together a late rally here to try and to try and rally back. Hoping to finish this one in straight sets, but they need three more points to tie and six more points to win. Meanwhile, Fitchburg needs just three more points to win the set.
Out of the timeout, Smagula still on serve. Serve taken by Yang, set by Lana, Spike Vu, roll shot, dug out by a diving Smagula, followed up by Huang, desperately punched, cannot get over. Out of the timeout, and Fitchburg is able to break Brookline's streak. 23 to 19, Lana the serve, taken by Huang, set by Smagula, Tomer the spike straight down. Hand to Hardwood for the kill for Amir Tomer, his fifth. Serve Tomer, taken by Reynoso over on one and out on one. That's an ace for Amir Tomer, his second of the match. This serve taken by Reynoso, followed up by Lana. Truong the roll shot, taken by Tomer. Set by Smagula, Spike Christopher deflected, taken by Reynoso, they could not keep it alive. Brookline now within one point off the spike from Connor Christopher. Now this serve from Tomer, dug out by Yang, followed up by Lana, Spike Vu into the net, we are tied. Can you believe Brookline has come all the way back? They were down, I believe 22 to 13, might have been 22 to 14, but now they are tied at 23. Serve, Tomer, taken by Reynoso, set by Lana, Spike Truong goes in for the kill. Truong with his fourth kill of the match, and now it is set point Fitchburg. Broly Vu serving to prevent the sweep. Serve taken by Huang, set by Smagula. Christopher the roll shot taken by Vu. Followed up by Lana, roll shot by Yang, and it drops on the, yes, it does drop on the line. Brookline opted to watch, and they opted wrong. Caillou Yang with the roll shot down the line, drops on the line to end it. Third set score, Fitchburg 25, Brookline 23. You know, it'll be interesting to see after a set like that. It was pretty close, but Brookline still came up short. It'll be interesting to see if they go back to their original starting rotation. We didn't really see much of Vivars in that third set, and we didn't see much of Amir Tomer in the second set. So we'll see if after dropping one set, Brookline might go back to their main rotation to try and finish things. But either way, can't take anything away from Fitchburg. I mean, it takes, you know, I've, I've used the word fortitude to describe them multiple times in this broadcast, and that definitely holds true for that third set. I mean, to see an almost 10-point lead vanish before your eyes and still have the mental strength to dig deep and get those last few points you needed, that still takes something. You know, hats off to Brookline for almost completing a tremendous comeback, but ultimately, set win does go to the Raiders. Apologies for the uh, repeated adjustments of the exposure. You know, when you have uh, when you have an indoor match, you know you can't go auto mode on the exposure because it'll go too dark. Because 
you know, it doesn't respond to, you know, man-made lights the same way it responds to sunlight. Um, but at the same time, when you got windows pouring in and adjusting the light as the day goes on, as day turns to night, you do still need to adjust it as you go. Whoops. Oh boy, I hate when that happens. There we go. Okay, we look okay. So fourth set now. Brookline appears to be coming out with their same starting rotation as they had in the first set. Miller, Vivars, Tomer, Smagula, Alpha Curry and Raybold with Raybold about to sub out for Traub, who is back as the starting libero after Christoph Huang got some playing time in that third set. Fitchburg sticking with their same rotation as, you know, I'm really just noticing now they've only got seven guys out there. Rodriguez is the only player on their bench. So it just shows a, a, a difference in depth between these two teams. This serve is taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Spike off a Corey deflected, could not be chased down. Kais Alfakuri starts it off with his fourth kill of the match as Brookline gets the first point. Tomer the serve, taken by Reynoso, set by Lana Truong, long spike too long. Tomer's serve taken by Yang, set by Lanas. Roll shot by Vu, could not be dug out by Traub. Broly Vu, 11 kills now in this match as he goes for another nice topspin drop shot. Vu's serve taken by Traub, chased down by Smagula. Long roll shot by Vars, just wide. Two to two, Broly Vu now on serve. Dug out by Traub, set by Smagula. Tap over by Vivars, kept alive by Lana. Set by Vu, pushed over by Reynoso. Taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Spike Vivars deflected and could not be followed up. That's another kill for Chris Stepps. Vivars, his seventh. Serve from Traub, barely dug out and pushed over by Truong. Taken by Raybold, set by Smagula, spike by Vars. And it was deflected. And that will be by Vars' eighth kill. When you, boy, when you got a laser of a spike that hard, it's like, how can you tell? Serve taken by Yang, set by Lana. Tap over by Truong, blocked right back, but Fitchburg keeps it alive. Bumped over by Truong, taken by Raybold, set by Smagula. Miller the spike, dug out by Vu, followed up by a diving. Lana pushed over on one by Raybold. Now set up for Truong with the roll shot, taken by Smagula, set by Traub. Miller, the spike, gets through for the kill. Rowan Miller with his first kill of the match. Traub serve taken by Reynoso, set by Lana, spike Truong blocked, dug out by Vu, followed up by Lana, and Reynoso couldn't get it over. Six to two, Brookline now with the lead. Traub serve taken by Reynoso, set up by Vu, pushed over by Truong, taken by Miller, set by Smagula, Spike Raybold, deflected, taken by Vu, followed up by Yang, 
Set by Lana, over the net, taken by Raybold. Set by Smagula, spike by Vars, deflected, taken by Vu. Set by Lana, bumped over by Reynoso, taken by Traub, set by Smagula, Spike Miller sails it. Again, that Fitchburg defense refuses to quit on any point, no matter how out of it they might seem. Six to three, the Brookline lead as Santos goes on serve. Serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula, spike by Vars. An absolute beauty that time from Vivars. His eighth kill sent it right between the blockers. Miller serve taken by Vu, set by Lana, spike Truong blocked. And that was Vivars with the block. He's come out attacking here in the fourth set. Serve taken by Vu, set by Lana, Spike Reynoso, no deflection, it sails out. Serve from Miller, taken by Vu, set by Lana. Tap blocked, but oh, sent back over illegally by Rodriguez. Not sure whether to call that a block or not, and I couldn't quite see who did it. So I might be slightly off of my block count, but either way, Brookline, a 10-3 to lead. Miller's serve right into the net. Now Miller subs out for number seven, Zachary Boyer. Brady Truong on serve for the Red Raiders. And that one sails long and it goes right back to Brookline. Eleven to four. By Vars, the serve taken by Truong, set by Reynoso. Spike Lana blocked, but recovered by Santos, followed up by Vu, and pushed over by Lana, taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Tomer, the spike, and it's followed up by Lana, and then Reynoso, Lana, roll shot, taken by Traub, but Lana touched the net. Either he touched the net or his feet crossed over the half court line. Either way, a violation. By Vars, the serve sails long. Twelve to five, Reynoso setting up on serve. And something went wrong on that one. As we've got some subs checking in. For Brookline, Andrew Bacon coming in to take the serve. Serve taken by Truong, set by Lana. Drop shot again by Broly Vu. He's got some really great control on those high arcing drop shot hits and he's now got 12 kills today. Yang serve taken by Tomer, set by Smagula. Spike Tomer was blocked. Blocked either by Santos or Lana. Uh, for now, I'll just give Santos his second block of the day. Yang serve taken by Vivar, set by Smagula. Tap over by Tomer. This time he read the blockers well. Great offensive adjustment there from Amir Tomer. As you see, he saw the blockers going up, didn't want the same results as last time, and went for a well-arced tap over for his sixth kill of the match.
14 to seven, Smagula the serve. Yang could not get it off the ground. Fourth ace of the day for Alec Smagula. Second Brookline player with at least four aces. Serve is kicked by Lana, and Truong manages to get it over. Taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Spike off of Corey, blocked, recovered by Smagula. Followed up by Traub, battle at the net. Won by Tomer, but did he miss wide? No, he didn't. Amir Tomer manages to get the kill down the line. Sixteen to seven is now the Brookline lead. Smagula's serve taken by Truong, set by Lana, Spike Vu for a kill. Broly Vu with thirteen kills now. Now Lana on serve. Taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Running spike by Vars, straight to the corner. Boy, pinpoint almost doesn't seem enough to describe that one as he sent that one to the perfect spot for his 10th kill. Tomer serve, taken by Yang. Set by Lana, Spike Truong recovered, but they send it off the ceiling. Oh, that still counted as three hits because of the first one was a deflection. Sent over on two, diving dig by Traub, followed up by Smagula. Roll shot by Vars, sails long. Valiant effort by Brookline, but ultimately the point does go to Fitchburg. 17 to nine. Served by Vu, taken by Traub, set by Smagula. Spike by Vars, straight down for another kill. That's his 11th. Traub served, taken by Reynoso, followed up by Yang and bumped over by Santos. Taken by Miller, set by Smagula. Vivars flies again, and Vivars kills again. Vivars now with 12 kills. He's just one behind Broly Vu for the overall match lead. And that serve barely dug out and off the ceiling. Brookline has been well in control from the beginning of this fourth set. 20 to nine, the lead served by Traub off the fingertips of Reynoso, followed up by Yang, bumped over by Santos, taken by Traub, set by Smagula, Spike Raybold off the net cord for a kill. Seventh kill of the day for Liam Raybold. Now this serve off the hands, but kept alive by Reynoso, pushed over by Santos, taken by Miller, set by Smagula, and Fivars just whiffed on that one. And so finally we go back to Fitchburg on serve. 21 to 10, they trail Santos on serve. Serve taken by Traub, set by Smagula, Spike Rabel to the back line for the kill. Raybold now with eight kills for the day, second on the team behind Vivars as he just passed Amir Tomer to take sole possession of second place on the team for today. Miller's serve into the net. It goes right back to Fitchburg as Boyer checks back in, replacing Miller. Truong on serve, taken by Traub, set by Smagula, Vivars, no question. Lucky number 13 for Kristaps Vivars, 
And boy, sometimes you see him go for these spikes where it's like one frame, it's at his hand, and then like one or two frames later, it's off the hardwood. That serve could not be followed up. I don't think I'd count that one as a full ace as it was touched a second time. But that does put Brookline at match point, 24 to 11. Vivars serving for the match. And the ace will end it. Chris Stapps Vivars with one last power serve. And Brookline takes it in four. The final score, Brookline, three sets. Fitchburg, one. Final set scores, 25-13, 25-15, 23-25, and 25-11. You know, while Brookline may have retaken control in that for fourth set and really dominated from start to finish, you know, I think Fitchburg deserves some credit for really forcing Brookline to bring their starters back out there. You know, when you've got a team that's at, so in control of a match that they start bringing in their backups to give them some playing time, you know, if you're able to really force that team's hand to say, no, bring, bring back your starters, because we can play with your backups, bring back your starters if you want to beat us, you know, that is still a statement to be made. So hats off to Fitchburg for a hard fight. Hats off to Brookline for the win. Brookline improves its record to four and two on the year. Fitchburg falls to four and two themselves on the year with the loss. And now let's recount the uh, final unofficial individual stats I had for this match. For Brookline leading the way, Chris Stapps Vivars, I had him with 13 kills, five aces, and one block. Second on the team, Liam Raybold, he had eight kills and two blocks. Amir Tomer had seven kills and, and two aces. And then Alex Magula with four kills and four aces and a number of assists that I just couldn't, couldn't measure. Uh, Kais Alfakuri with four kills and one block. Connor Christopher with four kills. Odin Hiltz with three kills and one ace. And Rowan Miller with one kill. So a very well spread out attack for Brookline. Three hitters with at least seven kills. Six hitters with at least four kills. Seven different players with at least three kills on the match. For Fitchburg, leading the way was Broly Vu with 13 kills and one ace. Brady Truong had four kills and one block. Joshua Santos, three kills, one ace, two blocks. Omar Rodriguez, two kills, one block. Ezekiel Reynoso, one kill, one ace, one block. Caillou Yang, one kill, one ace. And Bruno Lana with one kill. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Remember, if you enjoyed this live stream, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my upcoming sports live streams. Thank you to all fans, both Brookline and Fitchburg fans, that brought the good vibes in the live chat today. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to say after the live stream is concluded, you can say it in the comment section down below. Also go down below to the description section of this video uh, where you can find some helpful links. First, a link uh, and some instructions for how you can uh, donate to the Brookline High Boys uh, Volleyball Booster Club if you would like to help support the program financially. Uh, below that, a couple of links related to our local charity spotlight, Brookline Cares. Uh, find out how you can help support those struggling with homelessness in our community. And then below that, uh, you can find some links pertaining to me, which you can also see on the bottom right corner of your screen. Uh, first, my personal website, jessesports.com, where you can find out more about me, the freelance sports broadcasting services that I provide, and how you can commission those services for your favorite team. Or if you want to skip past all that and just contact me directly, you can email me with uh, any questions or requests you may have. And then, of course, 
Be sure to follow me on Instagram where I post highlights from previous live streams and links to upcoming live streams. But for this live stream, that's going to do it. Brookline 3, Fitchburg 1, set scores 25-13, 25-15, 23-25, and 25-11. From Schlentz Gym on the campus of Brookline High School in Brookline, Massachusetts, I am Jesse Mayfield Chien. Thank you all for watching, and have a good night.